In April 2018, the Copperbelt Energy Corporation PLC commissioned its first solar PV power plant in Riverside Kitwe. A pilot and training ground for what was to come, the plant was connected to the grid, a first for Zambia, and produced one megawatt of sun-powered electricity. Four years later, motivated by its ambition to become an energy company of the future and to participate in the country's green economy aspirations, it applied the lessons learned and began the construction of another solar plant adjacent to its pilot, expanding it to 33 megawatts. Commissioned in February 2023 by the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, CEC's 34-megawatt solar PV plant is currently tied for second-largest solar plant in the country, endorsing CEC as a predominantly clean power producer. What words can we use to thank you for providing clean energy? The solar is green energy. There's none. Thank you to you. Green because it's environmentally correct. It doesn't damage the environment. It doesn't emit the gases that damage our climate. So you bring to our grid 33 megawatts of clean energy. We congratulate you for that. Is it the quest for self-sufficiency in energy generation or a grander vision that is propelling CEC to pursue renewable energy with such an appetite? The demand for power, uh, both in Zambia and the region, uh, as you know, is uh, quite huge and it continues to, to grow. We actually can't meet the demand for power in the region at the moment. And uh, not too long ago, Zambia itself was faced with uh, a deficit in demand when uh, the water levels uh, at our dams uh, went down. Now that situation uh, can occur uh, any time in the, in the future, particularly given the challenge of uh, climate change. More than anything, CEC recognizes its position in Zambia's energy industry and acknowledges that investing in the energy transition is, in part, a fulfillment of the company's responsibilities to the growth and future of the industry in Zambia and the region. We've heard the, gov the government pushing the agenda of achieving an energy mix that gives Zambia um, the security of supply that the country needs. But also, the government is quite focused on uh, pushing the green agenda. I think for the first time uh, as a country, we've got uh, a ministry that focuses uh, on, uh, on uh, green uh, development. So from a company perspective, we obviously want to support that government agenda. We want to support the need for the country to achieve that energy sufficiency, but also go beyond energy sufficiency and be able to export so that we can end uh, the forex. Zambia is on a growth path with a huge appetite for power. But for its growth and development to be sustainable, its sources of power must be sustainable. This requires immense resources to be plowed into renewable energy. It has cost CEC $22 million of its own resources to develop this project. Relying on its balance sheet to finance the project, CEC has invested 22 million United States dollars on the power plant that sits on 30 hectares of land, transforming the area into a sea of aesthetically pleasing hues of glossy blues and greys. I also wish to congratulate you on a score around raising capital to your board, management, workers of CEC for taking this decision to invest capital out of the demands on your capital, which are many, one critical decision you made was to invest in this plant. We congratulate you for that. With the global systems of energy production and consumption transitioning to cleaner and more sustainable sources and solutions, CEC has been looking ahead, not only in terms of developing renewable energy-based power plants, but also by developing the skills that will undoubtedly be in much demand in the not-so-distant future. Uh, projects like this don't happen all the time. So when it does happen, to be able to uh, be part of it from start to finish uh, does make, uh, I think, a significant impact in the development of our own staff, 
as well as I think the uh, Copperbelt University staff. Students from the Copperbelt University have been exposed to the solar plant since before the first electrons were powered five years ago. Taking advantage of the location of the plant right next to the university and CEC's deliberate policy to avail the plant to them. In 2018, we developed our pilot solar PV plant, which came with many other intentions and benefits, including learning for both our staff and the students of the Copper Belt University. CEC intentionally made renewable energy curriculum development and managing solar power systems a component of developing its solar plant as a contribution to the country's human capital development. My name is Tembinko C. Siwa Atanase. I'm a fourth year civil engineering student at the Copper Belt University. Coming from a civil engineering background, it was a very good learning process because then uh, I had to learn an electrical side of view, if it's the transmission line, which has a mechanical part of you. As an engineer, I can't really just be specified in one thing. You need to have bits and pieces of everything. So this was a really good place to learn all these aspects of engineering. The transfer of knowledge and skills among its staff and from its staff to the students uniquely positions CEC by ensuring a steady flow of the talent it requires for its pipeline of renewable energy projects, including the 60 megawatt solar PV project already under construction in Itimpi, Kitwe. Equally important is the value to academic learning, research and skills development that this solar plant will engender. From our pilot solar PV project, we have experienced notable enhancements in human capacity, both among us, our staff and students from the Copper Belt University. Increasing the scale of the projects means that the depth of the skills required is greater. With a bigger plant like this one, we are not only supporting the expansion of generation capacity, but more importantly, we are enabling further development of a much required human capacity and skills to develop and operate future renewable energy projects that will be built at much higher scale. Eight students from CPU were actually involved during the construction phase of this project. There is no better way to provide practical skills to our learners than that. We remain committed to continue partnering with our academia in expanding human capacity in our country. Has CEC relied totally on its in-house talent and what has that experience been like? The experience of working on this project has been very, very interesting and at the same time it has been a very good uh, learning curve. Uh, as you know, in a project, we deliver the, the product, which is the asset itself, and uh, the byproduct is what we call the lessons learned. So there's a million of lessons that have been picked up from this project. There's also a sense of pride uh, where you've started your project uh, Greenfield, and then now we are generating power and we are connected to the grid. So there's that pride to say I was part of this team that realized a vision that started uh, way back in 2015. And today we are saying we've got 34 megawatts. Uh, a lot of pride actually, a lot. CEC is not blind to the vastness of the country's energy needs and has opened itself up to doing even more by partnering with other players that share its ambitious outlook for the sector and the country. So we are looking at partnering with others to develop bigger projects, be it in this area or other areas as well. I mean, this country is going to require more transmission infrastructure to move the power, first of all, from where it's generated, but also to move it where it's required. So again, those are the areas that we're going to be looking at. Uh, and uh, as I said, we're going to be looking at other technologies as well. A CEC, as far as the uh, clean energy or energy transition agenda is concerned, we are looking to obviously work with uh, partners that are like-minded and uh, we can collaborate to uh, help the country move ahead at, this, at, at, at the pace that uh, the expectations are. The company's hot pursuit of solar energy is a practical demonstration of putting its money where its mouth is. If we're going to achieve uh, 3 million metric tons of copper production 
uh, that the country is aiming for in the next 10 years, it means there must be a lot of energy, uh, power that must come onto the grid to support that, uh, that uh, uh, ambitious goal. With a target of attaining net zero carbon emissions from its operations by 2027, becoming a net green energy producer is part of the roadmap to that goal. The project itself, I think, brings uh, the clean uh, energy agenda to the fore. Our path to net zero, I think this is a major uh, milestone towards that, uh, to be able to contribute on an annual basis 51 kilotons uh, of uh, uh, carbon savings is significant and also uh, the energy that will be generated on average on a larger basis. It's clean energy getting into the grid helps the country with the diversification of the power supply agenda.